today I would like to give a little example of a fallacy. And here's just something that will you'll see people do innocently, uh, but don't be fooled by it. And it doesn't really matter what the name of the fallacy is. Uh, just know that if you see somebody doing this, eh, it's not to be taken, you know, completely seriously. You have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. A friend of mine recently uh, posted on Facebook, uh, told his story about how he got COVID, uh, ended up in the emergency room intensive care, was there for many weeks, and it was absolutely miserable, and he survived, and now he's back home and doing okay, but basically his message was, hey folks, this is no joke, um, it's the real deal, take it seriously, please wear a mask. And he has every right to say that, but I wanted to give an example of why what he has to say is not really that important uh, or more important than what other people say. So let's, let's just take a random sample of 2,000 people. And if we figure half of the people are going to end up getting COVID within a two-year period, uh, then we'll cut that into half of that is, is of course, 1,000 people. Of every 1,000 people, 998 are expected to survive. And he was one of those. But even if this was somebody given a testimony that was one of the other two, that is simply one out of 2,000 people. That's the amount of, of, I don't know, importance we should place on it is one thousandth or one two thousandths. That's not very much. So imagine if we took part of the other, oh, I'm even going to say... 1,500 that had mild symptoms or medium symptoms uh, or didn't get it at all. That group of people, if one of them stepped up and said, hey, I got it, I was over it in half an hour, it's not a big deal, folks, you don't need to wear masks. Well, that's just anecdote. Well, I almost gave up anecdotal evidence. I did give it up. That's the logical fallacy. So neither of these people should be given extra special credence uh, over, over what they say. Uh, they're both people that had an experience and they shared it. Uh, the statistics are what matter. And of course those are manipulated, but don't fall for one person saying, hey, believe me, I was on the front lines. I know what it's like. And, and, and this is, no, you're just one person and you shared your experience. I hope this helps.